What's up everybody? Josh, startingairbusiness.com. Today we're gonna do a uh, downspout video for you. Show you how to build this downspout from start to finish. Um, this is a black two by three downspout. So here we go. All right, so on this particular one, um, this customer wants the downspout to go, it's gonna be a BBA. So they want it to go down this face of the siding. So the best way I found to do that quickly is just go ahead and figure out where your gutter is gonna end. It's gonna butt right into this piece of wood and then move your head until this wall turns into a line. You'll see the whole wall and then you just keep moving over till the wall lines up into a line. And then at that point, you look at your, you look at your tape and line, line up that wall line with your tape. That's the way I found is the quickest, easiest. I mean, you could throw a straight edge on there or like a string or, you know, a few different ways to do it, but. Okay, so we got our measurement. Um, we're, so now we're just gonna transfer that to the gutter. So I have two inches here. I'm gonna make a mark at two inches and then we're punching a B on the, for this one on the right side of the line to make sure that downspout goes down the corner trim. Okay, so I brought both my elbows up. First thing I start with is just making sure these flaps are nice and straight so your zip screw goes into them easy. I've got water coming out of this guy, so that's always fun. Um, I have my first elbow here. What I'll do is throw it up. And with these X punches, you have to make sure and get that seated up really good to where it covers all of your corners. The, the corners of the elbow are rounded a little bit and then the corners of the x punch are square so you want to make sure it's nice and tight up there so you won't be able to see any light or water can't leak out of the corners so i got that on there um, i kind of just check my line of sight make sure it's pointed where i want it to be pointed you can kind of adjust that a little bit to make it look nice and then zip screws i angle them up a little bit just to kind of suck that elbow up into the gutter Normally I would do one on each side, but since this is kind of in a corner, I'll just do one, one in the front, one on the side. So I know there's other ways of doing this, but usually what I'll do is just throw my elbow on, kind of mock it up where I want it, and use my tape to butt in between the two, and then add three. So that gives you an inch and a half sleeve on both sides. An inch and a half sleeve into this elbow, and then an inch and a half sleeve onto this elbow. We used to use pipe cutters for all these. They work really good. These are, it's like an HVAC tool. We'll have a, Link in the description for you. And then what I'll do is kind of pick which side I want to use. A lot of times my cut side is, you know, your cut side's a little jagged or whatever. Or if there's any scratches, like this has a couple scratches right there. So I'll just try to hide those with my crimped end. So when you're crimp, when you're getting these crimped, that's the most important part for making this elbow go on easy. I crimp once on each corner. Try to keep them kind of parallel with the downspout when you're crimping, and that helps you get a nice, like, factory looking crimp. And then, when you put it on, just work from one side to the other, and just slightly push the bow in, and that pops right on. And then, usually, I'll just put a zip screw in the top of this joint. Now she's ready to install. Okay, so what I shoot for, this is onto another roof, so not exactly normal for a regular downspout, but same principle. I just measure to the bottom of the siding. That's where my, the bottom of my lower A elbow is gonna end up. So measure to the bottom of the uh, second elbow, and I have 86, and so with an A, I subtract three off of that measurement, so my cut measurement is 83. So that gives you your joints and puts your bottom of your elbow right at the bottom of the siding. And then I also cut clips out of the same downspout so you don't ever have to paint straps or anything. 
This is just how I how I make my clips. There. You can use your scrap down spout. You don't have to paint them. The paint never fades. That's why I like doing it this way. A lot of pipe, people use pipe straps or whatever. There's a few different ways of doing it. So this is just my preferred method. How big do you mean? So uh, it's an inch and three quarters, inch and five eighths right in there, depending on what you want the look to be. And then I'll just kind of clean this thing up a little bit. And then just cut, I just cut two C's out of this. So there's these center ribs. Cut down each center rib, and you, if you want to make these look a little nicer, you can kind of clean them up, cut the corners off, makes them look a little nicer. Okay, got my two clips, got my downspout pipe cut. Throw an elbow on. So I sleeve this up into that first elbow a little bit, and the goal is to make it to where it is flush with your downspout. It helps that clip bend, blend in a little better. So the top of that clip flush with your downspout. Helps it um, just blend into the downspout a little better. Making this look really hard right now. <laughs> And then I always try to get those zip screws into the elbow, through the elbow, so it kind of ties all this together. And I put four screws on each one, just two on each side, kind of match them height-wise and everything, make them look symmetrical. So there we go. Now we can move our ladder and get this bottom one on. Try to do a clip every 60 inches. Um, what can happen if you try to space them out? Like if you do one on the each end of a 10-footer. The center, if it grabs any wind or anything, will vibrate against the building like this. So it'll like, it'll uh, bounce on the building and I start humming in the wind. So I try to do a clip every 60 inches. So something like this, clip at the top. This, this uh, particular corner trim runs out, so I'm gonna keep my clip, I'm just gonna put my clip right here to stay on that flat surface and the bottom will just float. Get my level out. Uh, move it till it's level, and then I know where my clip's supposed to be. So I'll just hold it like that. Hold the clip where where level is. Kind of scoot the downspout out of the way a little bit. Tack a screw through there, and then it's ready to put together. Before I screw it in, I'll kind of eyeball it one more time, make sure it looks good. Uh, the one that I hold to the, to the building is uh, just an inch and a half zinc. I see a lot of guys using shorter screws, like these zip screws, to hold it to the building, and they fall off pretty easily. So I always use a little bigger, like a gutter screw, to, to hold that up into the building. That way if somebody's knocking around these or you hit them with their snow shovel or whatever. Now that, since this is floating, normally I would use my clip to tie this bottom elbow together. But since this is floating off this trim, I'm just going to throw a couple screws in it just to hold it. And there she is. There you have it, BBA downspout. Um, I know there's a few different ways to do this and measure these, so if you guys do it differently, make sure and comment below and just roast me on everything. I love it. Do it. <laughs> comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.